You know, there's a candidate on this panel here who personally called for a moratorium on oil sands development. Uh, the other leaders were which, musing which about. Which candidate is that? I believe Miss. I believe yeah. Ms. McQuaig said that. Okay, just so we're all um, following along. And I also and I also think that the other leaders were taught openly musing about a carbon tax. So, you know, what message does that send to industry? That says that you've got opposition parties who want to put in risky schemes that are uh, in, uh, destabilize uh, destabilizer in terms of a determinant to investment, and that's not what the Canadian economy needs. By contrast, the Prime Minister's strong leadership, we've had the lowest federal tax burden in over 50 years. We've seen Canada's borders increase for trade, over 40 free trade agreements our country now has. Those are the things that grow jobs and create okay. economic growth over time. And that's what the Prime Minister presented last night. Okay, let's let Linda McQuaig respond it, to that direct I think it was attack. actually Peter Lougheed who was calling for a moratorium on the oil sands. Uh, and, and I think the point is that a lot of people recognize that a lot of the oil sands oil may have to stay in the ground if we're going to meet our climate change targets. What Tom is that, is that are you suggesting? Are you so suggesting, Ms. McQuaig, but Linda McQuaig, are you suggesting that's what should happen? That it should stay in the ground some, in order that to meet a lot our of that change? oil may have to stay in the ground. See, but look at this. Yeah, just but, a but, second, but, just a second. Yeah, no, but just finish your thought there, Miss McQuaig. Are you just, suggesting can, that can the I, oil... Can I finish? Yes, but I, the, I'd like to ask you a question. Are you suggesting that oil should stay in the ground in well, order to reach our climate it, change goals? Some of it may have to. We'll, we'll know that better once we properly put in place a climate change accountability system of some kind. Uh, and we'll know that better once we have a proper review process for our environmental, uh, you know, projects like pipelines. Uh, as Tom Mulcair pointed out last night very clearly and very powerfully, you know, the, the environmental review process has been absolutely gutted under the Conservative government. Sure, now, may I sure that we don't yeah, properly, I just want to call we can't out properly Michelle. assess whether or not pipeline projects are... are are, are, you know, not just economically viable, sure. but also I just, I, I, just I, yeah, I understand that, but I think there's viable. a difference between saying let's get more regulations or let's evaluate a project versus let's leave it in the ground. But yeah, and I, I just no, want to call out Michelle Rimple. All I'm saying no, Linda, is that uh, yeah. we may end up in a position of having to leave it in the ground depending okay. on okay. what our environmental goals okay. Okay. Uh, I can't are. Okay, De 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 Deborah Coyne, and then I'll make sure everybody gets in. Don't I just worry. want to call out Michelle and Mr. Harper again on this statement that, oh, we're just in favor of a carbon tax and it's going to be stabilizing and all of that. Industry want carbon tax. A price on carbon will actually give them certainty. And I challenge her or Mr. Harper to go to any sort of industry group and tell them to say otherwise. And so the Green Party and Ms. May was very clear. Mm -hmm. We have to bring everyone to the table. We already have examples of it. And we have to get Canadians working together and have a credible uh, greenhouse gas emission reduction strategy. Okay, and Michelle Rempel, you want it in there? I do. Okay, so for the hundreds of thousands of people who, whose jobs are dependent on Canada's energy sector. Listen to what you just heard. Instead of standing up for the energy sector or Canada's economy, you're hearing, I want to tax this, I want this oil to be left in the ground. And no, that I is didn't what say the that, opposition Michelle. parties I didn't say I want this oil to left you as a voter. Michelle, I'm saying the contract between the Prime Minister and the rest of the opposition.